welcome back to another video. So today I have a create a sim and this time we're doing a townie makeovers but with a little bit of a twist. So what I'm going to be doing is doing alpha and maxis townie makeovers in one. Now usually when I would be doing a townie makeover I usually do the whole household but because I'm doing both maxis and alpha I want to be able to just dedicate it to one sim because if I did the entire household we'd be here for probably a half an hour or longer and I don't want to bore you for too long so you may or may not know but last week I did a video on a realistic sim using alpha cc that looked well hyper realistic that's not necessarily the alpha CC that I do have or as far as what I've acquired lately um, I have been going alpha CC shopping here and there a little bit But I do need some help if any of you guys are you know alpha CC users Please 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 let me know where you guys get your skins because I I found some skin overlays and stuff that I like But I feel like there's better ones out there that I'm probably missing out on and I'm having a hard time finding them because again I primarily shop for uh, Max's match custom content even though I am a mix of both But any help that you guys have for like good hair I mean, I know that there's a bunch of people that I already have um, Downloaded custom content from in game like praline Leah Lilith, Anto, I'm pretty sure that's how you say their name, um, Nitro Panic, a bunch of other people, but I'm definitely open to other creators who make alpha custom content, so please let me know. I need all the help that I can get since I'm kind of diving into this alpha world once again, uh, or well, deeper than I have been in a really long time, so anything will be of help to me. But I wanted to say that I've been wanting to do townie makeovers again. Um, well, like redoing my old townie makeovers because I absolutely despise my old townie makeovers that I did. They're just not good. I just, I'm not a fan at all. So I hate those and I want to start over. So I thought, why not go ahead and kind of you know, kill two birds with one stone and do both the alpha and the maxes, but also make the townies kind of how I want them to be. Now, I do feel like Dina Caliente was probably the Caliente sister that was treated the best in the sense of facial structure, because if we look at Nina Caliente, she does not look anything like Sims 2 Nina. So that's what I'm referring to when I'm making these Sims, is Sims 2, because I absolutely love The Sims 2 and I wanted to kind of, you know, bring their spirits into The Sims 4 because definitely Sims 4 is lacking in that department, especially, you know, juicy drama and the authenticity of The Sims. They did the Calientes so dirty. Dina especially, like what the heck is the yellow hair and the outfit, not to mention I didn't know this, I think I saw it on Reddit, that the a lot of the Sims from, if you take a look at the Sims 2 Sims and then take a look at Sims 4 Sims, their skin tones don't match, which is the reason why I made Dina's complexion a little bit darker. I didn't have um, skin tones, which I do plan on downloading more skin tones, because um, I've seen some stuff around on Tumblr that I think I want to make a video on, so keep a lookout for that, if anything. I did deepen up her skin tone just slightly. I think it's even deeper. Uh, I think from what it looks like, she has more of an olivey toned skin tone. So I don't know if this necessarily matches her fully, but I at least wanted to try and get her closer to what she is in The Sims 2 than the complete opposite of what she is in Sims 4. So I already had a dress for Dina that I found probably like a year or so, maybe even more ago, um, that was made for Dina. So it was kind of perfect to put her in that in um, the Maxis version. So I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, she looks like she'd be Dina. I feel like I could probably change her up a little bit more. The nose structure is the same. Then again, if you really look at the Sims 2 Sims, a lot of them look very similar because there was some sort of customization, but I feel like a lot of them, if you put them together, they look very, very similar just because of how The Sims 2 was. But speaking on The Sims 2 more so, I really do want to recreate a bunch of the households that were in The Sims 2. I think it's because I think I just really want to have like a nostalgic save where it just feels kind of like home in a way, which sounds weird, but like The Sims 2 is definitely a game that I would be like, that's like my baby, that's what I grew up with, and it's just 
so many good memories there. The reason why like the Calientes or any other household that's brought, brought back from past games, the reason why you feel more connected to those is because you already know their history or at least you've heard about their history from past games. And I feel like that's what makes you more connected to them. At least that's how I feel about it is that's why I gravitate more towards these households. Now the pancakes, for example, I feel like, again, you kind of know their story. I feel like everybody has their own version of like what is actually going on with the pancakes, which I mean is, is good because it's up to interpretation how you take their household situation. Like, you know, the fact that there's two bedrooms, like does that mean that Bob sleeps in one and then Eliza sleeps in the other? And like you have their, you know, description, but it's not like they're connected to any of the other Sims. You don't really know more. They don't have friends or anything like that they're just kind of like they're plopped into the world and that's it you know what i mean so that's where i'm going at with that but anyways sorry about my sims 2 ramble it's just i'm very passionate about wanting to have my game feel uh more full <laughs> so anyways moving on to the alpha version of dina so Again, I was having a little bit more troubles with like as far as skins. I feel like I just, I don't know. I, I like this skin, but I don't know if it looks too Maxis. I, I don't know. I guess the reason why I feel that way is because a lot of the skins that I do have do look softer, but they also can, they have enough detail to kind of go towards alpha. So I don't know, maybe it doesn't really matter what kind of skins you use, but I know that there's definitely good alpha um, skin overlays out there that I'm probably missing out on. I mean, I did download quite a bit of skin overlays a couple nights ago, but I don't know if um, they just suit... Maybe it just didn't suit her. It could be that. I feel like also not every skin works on every sim, if that makes sense. So that could have been it as well, but I don't think it looks that bad. I just feel like it looks super smooth and soft, which I mean, I guess is okay. Uh, I don't know. I just, when I think of alpha, I think of very textured skin, kind of like the realistic skin that I use in my realistic sim video if you guys didn't see that i'll link it down in the description i'll put an eye button top right hand corner if you guys want to check it out but maybe it's fine i mean i guess like if you look at real people in real life some people have really smooth skins or this could just be giving off the effect of the sim using foundation for example maybe i should just think about it that way because i mean when you do put foundation on it just like smooths your skin so maybe that's what's going on here maybe i just haven't used alpha and i'm not used to it like especially skins wise but that is pretty much it i'm really happy with how this video came out i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to see more definitely let me know and if you do who you want to see next but i'm gonna go ahead and go thank you guys again for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon bye guys